Hi, hello again. So let's do the second question and get the document information. Okay, so let's go here and after the first uh, exercise, we will place these and also a print. Okay, and in the middle, we will do the thing. Okay, so um, I told you. Uh, in the presentation, in the beginning, uh, we wanted to get the metadata from this, right? And uh, if you remember, we did this, okay, to print the the properties of the document, okay? And I saved that here in this document dot txt, and we can search here for meta. Oh, we have here Dell XML metadata. Is not this what we want? Get XML metadata. Uh, we have metadata. Okay, we have this one. So let's go here to the program.py and uh, let's print the doc. Let's print the type um, of the doc dot metadata. Let's see what is this thing. Uh, doc, no, documents. I named documents. Okay. So let's let me go here. Instead of opening here the terminal, let's go here, Alt Shift to the um, folder of our project, Alt Shift, right click on the mouse, and then open PowerShell. Okay. And this is too small, so I will go to the properties and let's play make these a little bit bigger. Maybe maybe a little bit more. I don't know if you are on a smartphone or whatever. Okay, so it's big enough, I think. And the first thing we want to do here is we want to activate the the environment, the virtual environment. So, le scripts activate, and this is a PowerShell, so it will be activate.ps1. So is active. Then we can do pi program pi. Hit enter, and we get this. So this is. Let me hide this. Uh, this is the type of the document dot metadata. Okay, is a dictionary. So it means that we can print the document dot metadata, and we can learn a little bit more about this. Let's go here to the terminal again and hit enter, and we have this. We have the format is a PDF 1.3. We have the title. Meditations, author Marcos Aurelius. Uh, we have this one is keywords creator and producer here and other stuff. Okay, so let's print. Let's print the thing. Let's define here a meta. Okay is equals to documents dot metadata okay this is an alias and then I will just copy and paste let me copy and paste so here we get the PDF format the PDF title the PDF author and the PDF producer okay we have here the keys okay these keys are these keys that we can find here Okay, maybe to make this uh, even simpler for you, dot keys, just like this, and let's run this again, and now we have here the dictionary keys, the format, the title, the author, subject, keywords, creator, producer, creation date, uh, mod date, I think this one is for modified date, okay. Uh, trapped. I don't know what this means. 
E and encryption. Okay. Okay. So we get uh, those values into these uh, variables, and after that we want to print. So let me because I, I don't want to, to write this down again. So uh, print f string PDF format and then we provide this variable PDF format and then the title PDF title the author and the producer. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So what else? Oh, the table. I want to show you how to get table of contents. The table of contents. Okay. What is that? Let me open the book. Okay, I add this in other monitor. So you see here this. If we click here and if we click here, we have here in the table of contents. This is what uh, what I mean. The table of contents. We can navigate through these uh, pages. Okay. So let's get this thing. How to get that thing? Well, it's actually very easy. Again, if we go here to the document dear, if we try to find table of contents, we get nothing. If we try TOC, we get something. We have set talk we have set talk item this one uh, delete talk is not this one extend talk items no remove no no delete talk item no get talk okay this this one is the one is the one so let's uh, define here pdf table of content is equal to document dot get talk okay and again this toc is for table of content okay table of content and with the table of content we can print the thing uh, I believe this is uh, we are discovering things here right and I believe this this will return it says here any so it can be anything but it will return a list of something I will uh, place here um, a breakpoint okay and go here to the run and debug click run and debug and then choose Python file okay is a single Python file and we wait a little bit so we can see what is uh, this PDF table of contents almost there I believe is taking a while it's taking a while yeah it stopped so when you see here this line in yellow it means that uh, it stopped here okay so let's see here if we um, put the mouse over these this window appears is the content of the thing and we see this it has a length uh, a length of 21 elements okay and by the way let's see the type of these It's very easy to see that we go here to the debug console and we type type and PDF table of contents hit enter and it is a list okay it is a list okay so um, and also we want to see the table by the way table PDF table of content PDF table of content the content of these uh, let's see the first element the first element have one then the title page and then two what this means 
this means um, this means that we I know the answer but we uh, I know because I went here let's go here to um, the um, the PyPy project for uh, PyMU PDF okay and then if we, we go here to the documentation okay documentation this will be very useful I will place by the way I will place um, it can be here the address okay this is very useful for us and let me yeah is okay let me copy this get underscore talk let's go to the website and search for get underscore talk and we got this document is from the document object get talk let's click here and let's see what we get uh, we have here parameters return type is a list okay and it returns a list of lists each entry has the form level title and page destination okay so we know um, page and destination sorry it has uh, four it has four so why we saw just three here let's try the um, number 10 we just have three in this case for some reason okay it appears here the first one is the level the second one is the title and the third one is the uh, page of this um, talk okay okay so let's uh, let me just copy and paste by the way <laughs> so I just copied and paste what we want to do I to contents oh I have a little bit a name a little bit different from the original so let me stop the these so what we are doing here we are doing um, we we got a list right and from the documentation we learn the list is a list of lists and the inner lists have these the level okay have the title and have the page okay and it is based uh, one okay it means that it starts with the first page starts with the number one uh, if it is based zero it means that the first page is uh, will start with zero okay uh, is just that uh, what I am doing here I'm extracting the level the title and the page from each inner list and then I print the level the title and the page is just that okay so let's see what we get let's run this again and we get this okay very very cool we have here level one title title page is at the page two so if we go here uh, we need to go to the title page of course this uh, the first one is the page one the second one is the page two so title page okay Chron uh, chronology at page five so this is the two this is the three this is the four and this is the five okay and we have here chronology okay by the way this is an image um, and so forth okay so forth so we are done in this part I don't want to show you more okay um, the next question the next que ne next question sorry is the get text from pages okay we want to extract all the text from uh, the pages in this case we cannot because this is an image but um, here we can select for example and we we will use Python and PyMU PDF to get this okay see you there